Hey guys, so I'm gonna show you how to configure the GitHub Slack app so that your team will get pull request notifications on your Slack channel. So it should be straightforward. Um, I'm gonna show you the best commands to do it and yeah, let's get started. So on your Slack channel, you go to add apps here and then you search for GitHub. Then just click add, it should take you to the Slack app and then so i've already installed it but you can click on install here and it should install to your workspace okay and open slack so once that's connected it's going to prompt you to connect your github account and you just click on this button and connect your github account and it should be pretty straightforward so yeah um, the ideal workflow we have here is we have a tech review channel, right? And we want to subscribe to a repos um, pull request so that it'll get notified in the channel. So we can do that by doing these commands. So I have a cheat sheet here so we can have some reference. So this is the command that we want github subscribe owner repo so should be github subscribe so the repo here refers to this one so it's the org and then the repo name okay so once we do this it should be pretty clear that we subscribe to the repo and we get these um, notifications when they get triggered so this is actually quite a lot so issues commits and releases deployments um, so these are enabled by default according to the docs here and you can also enable some other stuff like comments discussions and you know re reviews but let's see how this works so Let's say we're gonna create a pull request here. Commit, create a new branch, and then create a new pull request. So it should update the stack channel. Here, so you can see that. And then if we add a comment, it shouldn't um, notify us because we haven't subscribed to that event so it didn't notify us we can update this subscription to include comments okay so let's try to comment and it should update the stack channel so you can see here there is one comment made so that's pretty convenient I think let's try to add a new pull request okay start a review comment and then we're gonna try to make a new commit basically so what happened so we made a new commit but it's not showing on the notifications but I think that's fine so we have this already updates and we can close this project because it should send another notification to the channel so you can see here request pull request closed and that is pretty convenient so there are a couple of stuff you can um, subscribe to here and I guess the most efficient way to do, to do this without like getting spammed with notifications is to subscribe to the repo but only uh, subscribe to the um, polls I guess so what we can do to lessen the noise is 
we're gonna go a good tub unsubscribe test and then issues okay so we're not gonna listen to issues we're not gonna listen to comments we're also not gonna listen to deployments releases so basically we're gonna listen to pulls and commits which is the important part of the pull request um but yeah we can also add uh no but yeah this is pretty good but the issue for me so we've already set this up right and you can see here we can configure it through different channels and different repos you can just get click do this on the channel like github subscribe list and we'll see all the subscriptions we have for this channel so it's pretty powerful and we see the status too but the issue for us and my team is um it's kind of noisy so this is where um, i cut the video and show you a different way to do it so what was pretty um annoying to us was the you know notifications being spammed all over so we found this really good app called pull notifier so what you can do is you can do the same steps as in um, go to the Slack marketplace and install it. I'm just going to show you how it works. So um, we have this here and this is their landing page and this is their portal page. So we can configure per repo, right? can also let's remove this mapping so we're gonna select the slack so let's go to the let's say random channel so that we can see the notifications there so we've easily connected the repo to the slack channel um, so next step is to create the pull request here commit changes create new branch propose changes and create the pull request so okay so we have this um, pretty small text here but it's I would say pretty efficient um, and the cool thing is it shows you the github actor username and their avatar so you can quickly identify who worked on it it shows you the status and it shows you the commit message here and the link so that you can visit it okay um, and then once you have like changes to a pull request for example it's a it got it got approved or it got merged or it was closed so that would not send a new notification instead it would update the existing message so each pull request has its own message here but it doesn't go beyond that so that's pretty pretty convenient and very clean so it was the best app we found for our team and i would recommend it to you guys so yeah that concludes the video